Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Now in today's tutorial we're going to be running through on how you can actually skip the Microsoft Windows 11 Microsoft account requirements. Now unfortunately as Windows are now getting on uh, the later version of Windows are now requiring you or forcing you even to actually set up a Microsoft account when you open up your laptop for the first time or PC or even in my case I'm setting up a virtual machine for this demonstration of this video. Now um, there's a couple of ways which you can actually skip it to create a local account only which will give you a lot of benefits um, especially if you don't want to use like Microsoft OneDrive or any online sort of connected services. Now, um, it, it's, there's a couple of tricks, again, which I'm going to run through and show you. If, if you have a look at the bottom of the video, I'll actually section the video so you can skip through, depending on which method works for you. Sometimes, sometimes one method might not work, but if it doesn't, again, just skip through and try another method, which will be later on in the video. So, um, for the, as I said, for the demonstration of this video, I am using a virtual machine. So I am actually using VMware Workstation 17. Now, I'm going to run through on what you should do if you are using a virtual machine first, but if you are not using a virtual machine and you are actually using just a physical device like a laptop or a PC, um, again, please just skip obviously a little bit ahead and I'll go and um, we can get started straight away. So, the first method which I'm going to be showing you is actually using a command via the command prompt window. So, as you first open up your device, um, you'll be granted by this screen here, which will just ask you which country or region you are based in. So if you are on a virtual machine or if you are using a normal laptop or a PC, the first thing which you must ensure is that you are not connected to the internet by any means possible. So um, if you are connected via an ethernet cable, which I'll put on screen now, one of these cables here, just make sure that that is unplugged from your device and that you are not using it. Um, just temporarily whilst we go through the setup process. However, if you are using a virtual machine in this case, uh, you need to also make sure that you are not connected by internet um, by using uh, the player button in the top left hand corner. Go into removable devices and then as you can see network adapter currently has a tick next to it. So I'm just going to go across to disconnect and I'm going to disconnect that as well. So back in the, in the Windows setup menu, what we're going to do is you're actually going to look at your keyboard and you're going to hold down the shift key and press F10. I will also put the um, commands and keys you need to press on screen as well to make it easier for you. <clears throat> so once you are at this screen, you are now going to enter the following command, which is OOBE, which means out of box experience. And then you're going to do a backslash. Then you are going to do bypass NRO, which basically gives you the option to skip the um, internet required um, uh, uh, section on Windows 11 setup. <clears throat> now this method will usually work for most users. Again, there might be an occasion where it might not work for you. So if it doesn't, again, please skip ahead to the next section of the video. So all you're going to do after the enter in this command, you're just going to hit enter. And then as you can see, Windows is now actually going to restart. So I'll let that restart and I'll come back to you once it's rebooted. So now that our device is now restarted, you can actually now carry on and just continue the setup process. So we're going to select our country here first. I'm just going to click next to this and I'm going to uh, skip this section here. Now this is the section here where it will actually ask to see if you are connected to the internet. Now, uh, first of all, for, for clicking anything, I'm just going to make sure again that I am disconnected, which I am. And again, also make sure your Ethernet cable is still disconnected at this point. So you're just going to click on I don't have internet just down here. And again, Microsoft is also going to try and get you to try and go right. Let's click connect now because it's a nice blue button here. But don't click on that. Click on continue with limited setup. Once that's done, it will then ask you uh, who's going to use the device. So it's just going to be your name or even a device name. So in this case, I'm just going to put user just for the demonstration. And again, you can enter a password if you wish. But again, I'm just going to click on next and skip on that as well. And then it will start asking you uh, if you want apps, etc. Or like this is the privacy section where if you want you to use your location. Again, I just click no to every single one, even though unfortunately some of them are required, such as this here, sending data to Microsoft. But uh, there is also third party applications which you can use to also disable this kind of stuff. But again, I'll make that in another video. So I was going to click no again, no, skip all this. And then there we go. So now it's just going to restart. And then as soon as that restarts, you'll be at the desktop and that's it. And you'll be back to a local account without any Microsoft connected features. So now we're going to skip on to the section two of the video. 
So the second method to actually skip the Microsoft account require process is you can actually just go through the same menu again. So this time I am actually connected to the internet. So if you have got an ethernet cable plugged in at this stage, you can keep it plugged in. So we're gonna click on next on your region. And then again, we're just gonna select the UK for the keyboard and we're gonna skip this section as well. Now at this point, it will check for updates, which will take a couple of minutes. So again, I'm just gonna pause the video and I'll come back in a few moments. So after your device has actually done the Windows updates, it's going to bring you back to this screen here. So all we're going to do is uh, you can pop in a name if you like, but I'm just going to skip this for now. So you would just put in your name like like you, like previous uh, like the previous step, or you would just simply just click on skip. I'm just going to click on the skip button because there's it doesn't really matter really. Next, this is the section which you need to look at. So it will ask if you want to use uh, to set up for work or school or personal use. So I'm just going to select on set up for personal use here. And now this is where it gets clever. So Microsoft actually has a banned list of, list of addresses. So if, for example, you enter an email which is banned, it's just going to skip you straight through to the local account process. So in this case, we're going to enter no at thankyou.com and then he's going to hit next. Now this is going to ask you if you're going to sign in. Again, just enter anything random at all. So I'm just going to press a few buttons on my keyboard here and then just click sign in. So you can see it's just a, a random password. And if I click next, or sign in even, sorry, it's going to come up saying, oops, something went wrong. Now this is what you want it to do. So if you click on next here, it's then going to swap you straight over to the local account process creation. So at this point, again, you would just enter your name. And then as soon as you follow through these steps, you will then be signed in. And then that will just simply be a local account. Now, the third one I'm going to come to is it's going to be based on Rufus, which is if you are setting up or installing a device from the Windows 11 ISO image. So again, I'll come back to that step in a moment. So the third method of actually installing Windows 11 onto your device and also trying to skip the Microsoft account creation is using a great tool called Rufus. Now, if you are um, looking to install this, as I said, on a brand new laptop or computer, or even if you're looking to install Windows 11 on a virtual machine, this would be the way which you'd probably find the most easiest. Now, Rufus is a tool which allows you to create a, a bootable USB or an even external hard drive um, quite easily. And it also gives you some fantastic options too. So you just need to go to the website called rufus.ie and obviously mine is slash en because I'm here in England. Um, it might be different, but or you can also just Google it, but just make sure it is the rufus.ie domain. Now, once you're on the website, as you scroll down here, you will have the download section just here. So at the time of this recording here in 2023, it's Rufus 4.3. So all you're going to do is just download this and then you're just going to simply run the software, which I've already got on my desktop right here. So once the software loads, now, as I said, you will need a USB or an external hard drive for this. So please make sure you do have that. And you will also need a copy of Windows 11, uh, the official ISO image. I suggest probably getting it from Microsoft rather than an unknown source, just to make sure there isn't anything pre-installed in there that shouldn't be. So once you've got your USB plugged in, it will ask you to select it. Or if, you, if you've only got one plugged in, in this case, it will just select the USB as standard. And then you're just going to simply click on select on the right here to choose the ISO image of Windows 11. Now, once this loads up, you are then just going to have a look at any options down here which you need to change. Now, the only option which you normally need to change is GPT or MBR. That's the partition scheme in terms of how it installs. MBR is the old fashioned uh, scheme and GPT is the new modern which uses UEFI. Most devices these days, if it's a new device, it will be UEFI even can't say that properly or if it's uh, an old device it will be MBR but again when you boot up it will tell you if it supports it or not and now all you're going to do is just click on start down here and this is the nice uh, little window which is very helpful especially when it comes to installing and also skipping the Microsoft account creation so um, if you're if you've got an older device that doesn't have as much RAM or maybe it doesn't even have the new TPM 2.0 chip which is required now in most devices to install Windows 11 um, you can actually disable that requirement just simply by clicking on that right here and again if you want to skip the Microsoft account creation uh, again you've got another option here which is fantastic so just click on create a local account with a username and again in my case it will be Matthew or you can choose any name you like and again that will skip the Microsoft account process there for you as well 
But yeah, so hopefully that's uh, all, all well in there for you guys. So as soon as you click on OK, that will just simply start installing your USB. And again, you can just go and use that to install Windows 11 onto your device. But I hope this tutorial has been very helpful for you guys. Again, if it has, please leave us a thumbs up. And um, also, if you have any questions or comments, again, drop it in the comment section just down below. Or if, as you know, as always, it really appreciates and helps me out, please also smash that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Goodbye for now.